Hey yo, I'm back like I never left. Forever fresh in the seven day. Them niggas do it for clout and for presidents. That's why I packed it up and took the severance. You know, never roll with an ego. Ego under the Pico. Hold up. Feet on, to feet on. The glowers, the knowers, the shiners, the showers, the non stagnant and the growers. It's the re emergence from behind the curtains. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Don Dada. Y'all already know what it is. Raw and uncut coming back at you. And this is the episode I've been dying to do for the longest time. Right? We finally get to say, and the new featherweight champion, Delmi XO. Man, I know the whole team is going to be excited to talk this. We'll definitely talk it on Friday when we get back in the booth together. Um, and we'll obviously go over it in detail. Muffins will be there. Um, Rob will be there So I'm not sure if AB will be there You know, rumor is You know, he might climb out of his hobbit hole You know, but before you do all that Like, subscribe, share All that good stuff, man Come bang out with us, join the family It is what it is But salute to Del Miexo, the god queen She talked that talk and backed it up You know, like We previously seen Taya I'm not gonna say uh, let's just let's just keep it 100. According to uh, the show, uh, Taya had her homie XD matching and, and making that happen. So what happens? They come back to my city, New York City. Taya does have her crew with her. She has her husband by her side, and you know none of that meant shit. Like just keep it at 100. Del Me X will walk into that match as the underdog, even though we all know she's not. She walked into that match as the underdog. The odds were stacked against her, um, and it storyline-wise, it, it keeps feeling like they just keep giving Taya everything she needs, and to be completely honest, she had everything her way, the rain was whack, she didn't hit the mark, she didn't promote the belt, like Del Miexo said herself, Del Miexo walks into New York City with nothing, just the name and her gear, and she walks out with the strap. You know what that says to me? There's only one true featherweight champion. That's Delmi XO. You had a placeholder that they just threw a name on it. It did nothing for the belt. It didn't put anything on it. Now this becomes Delmi XO's job to build a name for this, to build a prestige around this title. And you know what? We know Delmi XO can do it. And they stacked the box against her. You know what I'm saying? Like they literally stacked the box and they put everything against Delmi. Delmi took some, some shit during this match, and even with everything stacked against her, the God Queen comes reign supreme. You know what I'm saying? Like, it says a lot about Delmi XO, and if you only had that small sample size from the Sea Stars coming in to her solo run as when she returned, Delmi XO has put a really good body of work behind her. And promo wise, you can't tell me that one promo Taya did. Smoked Delmi shit. It did not. So you're already seeing level of greatness because Ty has been in this game for mad years. Salute to Ty. She's won belts everywhere. She's been super talented woman. But when it came to MLW, it just seemed like she didn't give a fuck. It was just here to to be here. And Delmi, this is her big moment. And you know what? It didn't phase her. She didn't look like anything was going to get to her. Biggest stage for her. And you know what she showed? I'm the biggest player in this game. I am that. She is her. What you young kids like to say, she is her. Just keeping it 100. Delmi walks in, dominates. And I mean dominates. Walks out champ. Crowd loves it. Crowd behind it. What can I say? We have a new champion. Now the thing is, and I've talked about this prior, and, and I'll talk about it with the guys. Now Delmi has to compete with somebody like Becca, who Becca is here again. And you know what? The crowd gets behind her. Even if it's booing, cheering, not wanting to see her because they make her, she makes them feel a way, she's doing her job as a heel, right? Like, she's killing it. Now, can a crowd that's built for her, can Delmi outshine that? That's going to be her biggest test so far, is how do I stay at the top when this girl right here it's climbing so fast, she wants to be here. And they're going to, court's got to battle it this way. You know what I'm saying? And this is the perfect opportunity to build this division, 
you know, sprinkling some people, but it has to be a core. And we're going to have such a dope, a dope rivalry. They, like I said, they have a resume on the independence. I said some of this kind of shit, I, I'm rebuttaling it, but to be honest, I'm excited going forward. We finally get rid of Taya as champion. And uh, like I said, and people can feel however they want. That was your champion, not my champion. Del Me XO is the people's champion, right? She's what we wanted. She's what we needed. And guess what? She's what we got. Took way too long, but you know what? She's here. The God Queen is here. All reign supreme. You heard? For myself, my entire team, see you with them in a few hours. Deuces.